a completely different method to recover our device. Since in this video tutorial we are going to use, we are not going to use the PC. It would be a completely PC-free method to access our device. Well, as we can see, this video tutorial is completely different from the previous one. A method without a PC where we can recover our device easily. Easy and quick, huh? Let's use it. Well, first of all, let's go. To connect to a Wi-Fi network so we can start doing. The recovery process as we can see here on the left side part. At the top we have that little padlock that appears there, we have that. Little padlock which, uh, what our device had, what are. The device was a block of the screen that we had forgotten about, and from there what we did was format it. We reset our phone at the time our phone reset us. That little padlock appears on the upper left side where. With this video tutorial, we'll explain it to you step by step. That you keep doing it and keep going and going, and have a full recovery of. Your device with this video tutorial. So first of all, let's connect. Which is to a Wi-Fi network to begin the process. Let's click here for all those permissions. We click next here, we're going to connect. Another thing I also want to mention is that in the video description. And in the first pinned comment we have many completely different methods. PC method and PC free method. Okay, now what we're going to do is get to where. We see that screen lock where it all started, and from. That would take us directly to the Google account. Now, in addition to the screen lock, we also see our Google account. We get those two options, but don't worry if that's your case. Today we're going to explain that step-by-step -step process where you'll be able to access and recover your device easily and quickly. Okay, this takes us to where the screen lock of our device appears. Here we see our block which we will be able to access today. To this device in an easy and quick way, A. What are we going to do now that we're here at this stage? Okay, we're going to click here where it says, use my Google account. Let's select this option where it says, use my Google account. Now that we're here, it would take us to where it appears. The Google account from there would take us to that section. Then it takes us to the account section. What we're going to do with Google is the following. Because sometimes there are people who suddenly. We forget what a screen lock is. Sure, it's normal that we change sometimes. A screen lock and after a while we've already forgotten about it. That would also be one of the following configurations that we. We could change a screen lock, but after a while we forgot. If that's your case, then I recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial until the end so you can find a solution and recover. Your device. Let's wait, the internet seems to be a bit slow. Well, as we can see here, for those who know the email, you can add your email address here. They click next and can add the password, and it will give you what that is. Access to recover your device without needing to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. Let's say that's not your case, you don't know the email address. It also gives you the option to add what is the phone number you had added to your Google account. That would be AG. 
You enter the phone number, click next, and then have phone. The phone number on an unlocked phone. Because if you have it here, you won't receive any messages. Uh, you get a code, you click next and the code will arrive automatically. Recovery so you could have access to this device, but let's say it doesn't have. If neither of these options works, then you're going to click here where it says, forget Gmail. You're going to click here to forget Gmail. Now what you're going to do is write anything. Here's something you're going to click next on. We're going to write anything here. It seems like these. The data is a bit. The data is very heavy, so what are we going to do now? Okay, let's go back, we'll go back. Backwards, backwards, and we'll begin the recovery process. Let's tap it here several times on the screen. We're going to click on the screen several times. We're going back, we're going to click here on the little cross. Add a new network here and click on this QR code that appears here. Let's select this image that appears here. Clicking on this image here will take us to this section. Let's select these three lines. After we select these three lines, we will select gallery. We support it, we support the gallery. Once we're here in the gallery, we're going to click here on permission. We'll put it here in storage. Then here it says all the apps and here this magnifying glass will appear. Let's write Chrome here, write Chrome. We delete letter by letter, here Google Chrome will appear. Now we're going to click here on open, then accept and continue. We click here where it says no thanks. Now we are going to write the following, well what are we going to do? We will write our official page here. We'll show you our official page here. Let's write that his name is Davidsel, just like that. As it appears here on screen, they will write it. Let's go to unletter. E V I C E. If we click send on LL to Ibisel, our official page will appear. Our page will appear here below, you're going to click on our page. Clicking here will take us to the next section. We'll wait until it takes us to the page. Official where we are going to carry out a series of processes. What we're going to do is click on our official page. We're going to the last option, here you'll find many tools. You'll be able to find them directly from here. Here we're going to select this one. This last option where it says Apps Davidel Applicaciones Davicel is where. We'll be able to get there, and once we're here we'll. We'll keep going down, we'll keep going down little by little. We'll wait for our device platform to load. Let's wait for the page to load, it's taking a little while. Slowly, let's wait a few seconds, let's, ah. It's already loaded here, it's loaded. We're going to scroll down, we're going to scroll down, we're going to wait for it to load. Let's select two small nuts that are green and white. Two little nuts, let's look for two little nuts that will appear around here. Those two little nuts are going to appear, we're going to go down. We're going to go down, we're going to go down, we'll be able to find it here, here it is. These are the two small nuts we'll be using in this video tutorial. Let's select them. We selected it, now it would take us to this other section. Let's select those two Turkish girls again. We selected those two nuts and now we. It would directly lead to the Galaxy Store. Click here. We click on add and it will then take us to the download page for this application. We're going to click here where it says, install now. When we click on install now, it will ask us for a Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, I recommend creating a new one. Well, once we add what? That account will automatically start the installation. What we have to do is wait for it to install correctly. 
Once it's installed correctly, let's open the application. We're going to click here where it says system and then what we're going to do is go down little by little, we're going to go down. Here we'll be able to find, we'll be able to find this option where we see the Google Play services here. That's where we would be accessing and being able to recover our device. We're going to scroll down here and the Google Play services will appear. We click on the three dots. Click here where it says, show if information, to show application information. We click disable here, we disable, we go back. We'll wait for it to load, then we'll click here on the X. We double click backwards, double click backwards. While we're here, let's use this magnifying glass, here we'll write, activity. Activity and we'll see the Activity Manager launcher here. Let's download the application, we'll download it. Then what we're going to do is wait for our application to start. Once our application has started, what we are going to do? Once we've opened it, we click here on the magnifying glass. Let's write W and Z, then we would have these two applications left. Let's select the first option that has the little nut. Then they will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They will select the option that says, Preferred Sedum Wizard Activity. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but they're going to select the. They are going to click on this option. Then it would take you to this section. You're going to click here where it says, Use. Because the Wi-Fi network was a bit slow, I used mobile data. I'm going to click here where it says, use mobile data. I'm giving it mobile data, now the screen is going to keep flickering. Don't worry, we'll correct all these errors. If you see all these mistakes we still have here. Now what we're going to do is press the power button. Press and hold the volume down button simultaneously until your device restarts. When our phone restarts. Let's put down our phones and now what we're going to do is. What to do is wait for our phone to take us directly. Which is the beginning and then culminates the recovery process. This is for those who want to see other video tutorials. We've left it in the video description and in the first comment. Fixed in order to be able to troubleshoot and recover this device. It's an easy and quick way because in this video tutorial we're not using a PC. We're doing everything step by step. We're trying not to pause what this is. Video tutorial to avoid any problems. As we can see, it has already started, but apparently it seemed to us that it was. Okay, but it's not right, knowing all that. So what we're going to do is turn off our phone. We turn it off, when it is completely off. We'll wait 10 seconds for the screen to turn off. Let it vibrate, now we wait 10 seconds. When those 10 seconds have passed, then we're going to press the power button first. Then volume up at the same time. Press power and volume up, let's wait for it to restart. It doesn't matter, just let it restart on its own until it enters recovery mode. We'll wait until we can enter recovery mode and be able to Eliminate all the errors our device has because we're already stuck here with Some errors. Now that we're here, let's scroll down here where it says, Wipe Data Factory. To reset, turn off the power button and click where it says, Factory Data Reset. Now everything would be ready, we would be formatting our phone. When we have already restored it so that it is fully restored. We selected the first option with the power button. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to restart. When our phone restarts, we will complete the recovery process. 
We'll wait for our phone to finish, then configure it and we'll be done. So that it can be recovered easily and quickly without needing to use a PC. I'm going to pause this video tutorial since this usually takes 2 to 3 minutes. Well, here we see that apparently still. It appears that our device is locked. But you'll see the result of what we're going to do. We're going to do the same configurations again, just like we always have. Here we're going to click on skip, but it gives us access as if it would. Because it omits all the options. We're not going to wait until it takes us to the next options. You'll see that it will now take us directly to where it gives us the option. Being able to create, add, or bypass the Google account will give us those three options. Now that we've completely reset our phone, ah. Uh, there is no need to reset it because we have already done all of this. The device is now free of any errors. Now that we've reached that step I'm telling you about, we can add. What is that Google account? Normally, you don't need one. If you don't have one, I recommend. Create a new Google account now so that it gives you what that is. Uh, you. Give me all the options, all the ways to recover your device, like. As you can see here, it gives us three options. Create and add an existing account, create a new one, or skip this step. I'm going to skip this step. This option will appear for you to request it again. It will give you the option to skip the account. We're going to click here where it says, do not copy, and now it would give us again, uh. It would give us back the same step. Here you can see for the second time it gives us the same step, we're going to click on jump. And now it would allow us to recover our device. It would give us, now we're going to accept it more. We click here on jump, jump, we click on OK. Let's wait for it to take us directly there. That takes us to the start of our device. Would be completely free of any error. Ready to access, we'll click on skip. We click next here, and finally we're going to click. By finishing like this, we would be finalizing the process to recover our device in an easy and quick way.